Uh, all right. Father Paul, Deacon, fellow parishioners, good morning. I have a sense that when the words Latin orthodoxy is brought up, people immediately think about the church guidelines in which everyone tries to blindly follow. But in fact, there is more. Everyone looked forward to the big jubilee on Pascha with the lamb roasting and the cracking of the red dyed eggs being hit against each other. However, I wonder by being strictly rule followers, we miss the main components in which orthodoxy consists of. Prayer, fasting, serving others, and the study of Christ in the church. In the Lent season, many things try to deter us from God. But these four important Christian ideals all help describe one thing, discipline. During this time of renewal, reflect to you if, if you have just been that good person who helps with the simple things, or an Orthodox Christian who always goes the extra mile to help others. In the ancient apostolic faith, we are told in the doctrine, the church continues to see its mission in light of the whole person, body, and soul. The process of keeping them together remains a divine mystery and helps us with the main goals in which Lent and every Orthodox life is established around. Fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. Jesus has used the image of a lost sheep with him being the good shepherd. St. Peter even says, For you are like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. When we run astray, we often lose what's most important, God himself. But through fasting, Jesus will come and seek us like the shepherd in the parable of the lost sheep. Also, with the help of prayer, we are able to communicate on a personal level with God. And through almsgiving, we humble ourselves. We are offered the chance to minister and give to the church and its people, just like Jesus did on his ministry on earth. I have other plans, or I have a lot of schoolwork I need to catch up on, are only a few examples I can come up with when trying to avoid performing acts of service. However, I am blessed to have the opportunity to partake in serving at the St. John Ministerial Outreach Ministry, where our church and others help prepare dinner for the homeless. Seeing how fortunate I am compared to the unfortunate circumstances they are in, I pray to God every night and I thank Him for everything. Trying to refrain from only eating a few foods during special circumstances in the church I put myself in the place of Christ, the poor and the hungry. Even though Jesus and the poverty-stricken people had little to no food, I now understand part of the struggle containing eating certain things provided that may be. When I grow older, I want to teach people about our faith, and that sometimes involves not only using words, but the actual act of serving. As I conclude, I challenge us to ask ourselves, how has our discipline been when we fast, serve, and pay attention to God's tasks? Do we listen or avoid? Do we act or ignore? Everything is material, but it is up to us to rid of those possessions and seek the only eternal one, faith. Let us take opportunities the church provides to us in order to make us not just a good person, but rather an Orthodox Christian who loves, cares, and is a proud disciple of Christ. Amen.